The time has come to build a new projector box. This one has served me well for three years, but yeah, it's time for something better. I um, also have a laser projector that I want to start using instead, so it's a good time to build something better. You know, this one we kind of cobbled together, figuring things out as we went along. Uh, we made the box first with the intent of just putting it on the ground and bringing it in every night. But what we discovered is that corner of the garage there, when it was on the, the box on the ground level, then it would cast a big shadow on that key part of the house where I wanted to have a projection. So as even as you can see on the, the camera, in order to clear that shadow, we had to get it about at least as high. The higher the better. So I'm going to see if I can build something better than this, something a little more permanent that needs to be at least that high. I think it's about, I'll measure it, but 52 inches, I think, minimum to get it high enough. And I was thinking of using a mailbox post, but I don't think they get that high generally, so I'm gonna run to the hardware store. And I will video as I go along, so any mistakes I make or things that I'm learning along the way, I can share our progress. And then once the platform's built, uh, attach the box, then I'll remap the house. And then I'll also have to redo all my shows to map it to, to this projector. Okay, this might be hard to do, holding the phone in one hand and the projector in the other. But what I'm going to do now before I build my uh, stand is try to find the sweet spot on where to put the projector. And what I want to do is try to get something... I want to get as close to the house while covering as much of it as possible, so I'm going to move around a little bit and try to find that sweet spot. And something that might be hard to tell with the green grid pattern is where it might be casting a shadow too, but um, as you're doing this you want to see if there's any obstacles in the way casting a shadow. So I'm going to pause the video for a sec though so I can use both hands and find that sweet spot. And I'll also probably mess with the keystone. Um, it might be hard to tell this angle, but it's wider at the bottom than it is up on the top. And so I'm going to adjust the keystone to try to square that off. Okay, I think this is probably going to be the best spot, and it's pretty close to where I had it before. What I was doing is looking for that far right edge to make sure it's covered on that side of the house. Over on this side you can see that edge, so I want the house to fit between both of those. And then that upper part, there's the top part right there, so I'm going to put that just in frame. And can't see in the dark, but this also covers part of the sidewalk that goes up to the house. And then it's probably hard to see on here, but I can see on the roof the, the grid lines, and so I am hitting that roof but if I were to drop down lower then it's gonna start casting a shadow kinda hard to tell from here um, if I shined a white light through the projector it would actually probably show this better but I'm not gonna bother I'm pretty confident with where this is at um, and this this pattern is actually built into a lot of the projectors this is the Optima ZH406 and if you look in the settings there's a, a test pattern where you can get this. So I think this is a pretty good spot. Um, if I get much closer then I start cutting off the corners on the side there. So I think this will be a good spot. This is where I'm gonna build the box. Alright, got the whole box down and our next step is, is trying to decide what I wanted to use for a pole to get the stand up high enough. I really wanted to do something completely metal just so it would last longer, but the mailbox posts have tons and tons of accessories, so I think it's actually going to be easier to find parts to, to get what I want by sticking with the same kind of thing as a mailbox post. You know, the 4x4 wooden post and all the accessories that come with it. So. I am trying this thing, 
as the next step. This is going to be my anchor. It's made for mailboxes. I'm going to screw it into the ground and then we'll attach a 4x4 post to that, cut to the right length to get it high enough. And then on top of that I'll put some kind of a platform to put the projector on. Okay, I got the screw in the ground. It ended up being a lot harder than I expected it to be. It might be my soil, but the threads on the screw wouldn't engage. So I ended up doing a combination of hammering and twisting, and I couldn't tell the twisting was really doing much, so I might have just been hammering in the end. So maybe it's just my soil, but if I were to do it again, I'd get the kind that just hammer straight in instead of the screw. And then I've got this four by four post and to cut it to size for the height that I need to clear the shadow on our roof. So the projector angle will be like right from here. About like that. So next thing up is to build a platform to sit on top that I can hook the projector casing to. Now for the platform there's Probably a hundred ways better at doing this, but what I'm shooting for is something that's light and strong and something that's easy to cut and drill into so that I can adjust it just the way I want. So using this aluminum bar, it's lightweight. This is already going to be pretty top heavy with the projector on it, so I'm going to try to keep this as minimalistic as possible. Got these two cross beams here, and then I'll attach these. And that will finish the base for the post. And then I can put the projector on top of that. But, but I have to allow for, I don't actually know which angle to make this yet. I need to shine the projector and make sure that I'm, I have these facing the right way. And so I need to do that. And I need to allow for a steep angle to the projector. For those that have uh, done this before, you realize that the, the short throw projectors tend to shoot the beam up because they were originally made for home theaters where they'd hang upside down on a ceiling and so then it would shoot the beam down towards the projector. So with short throw projectors, I often have to tilt the back up. And so I'm before I start drilling holes in these and putting them uh, and attaching them, then I'm, I'm going to want to make sure that I have it positioned right laterally and then find what the angle is vertically. And then my plan is, is I can have a short length bar here to connect the projector platform to this one. And then a longer one that I can adjust on the back to move up and down. At least that's the theory. So it'll look something similar like this when I test it. And this will all also allow me to see if there's... I, I'm expecting most of the weight to be towards the front because I'm going to push the projector up near the front. So I'll probably want the projector back a ways too to try to make it as balanced as possible. And so that's my next step is to put the projector in here, shine it on the house, and then see which, which way I have to pivot it so that it covers the width of the house. Uh, once I have that down, I'll put the cross beams here, and then I'll be able to, I'll put another one on the projector underneath here to attach it to. Probably doesn't make sense until I actually start doing it. And the other benefit I hope with having just a few pieces of aluminum and nothing else is I should be able to get plenty of airflow under there, I'm hoping because there's not going to be hardly anything under the projector itself. So, onward and upward. And then here's the aluminum I'm going to put on the base of the projector enclosure. I'm just going to put some bolts in there and I, mean, I could probably just use the metal itself, but I think this will give me a little bit more stability or at least it feels like it 
and if I need to do some further stabilization I can do other pieces of metal attached to this so I'm going to go ahead and just put it through this hole and into the threaded bottom of the leg hole. Uh, this particular enclosure is uh, one of the early Lux Omnis, Luxita version 2 enclosures and it comes with these little holes for your legs. So that's what I'm going to utilize. Okay, we're rapidly approaching the point at which I see if this whole plan is going to work or not. <laughs> so I've got all the cross beams in place and little short arms here. And I'm not tightening those up a lot because then the next thing that I want to do is put the projector in there and then I need to tilt this up to get the right angle to where I'm covering the house. And so I don't know how high that needs to be yet. I'll have to come out at night and find out what that angle is. And then put another couple support bars to keep it in, in place. And then you can see even as I lift it, this starts to move. So I'll, I'll have to have some other kind of triangle or some other supporting beam to keep it from wiggling. But I just don't want to do it yet until I can put the projector in there and see if this is even going to work. So we'll put the projector in, mess with this a little, and then I'll know if this plan's even a good plan or not. <laughs> okay, I think we're all done. I uh, mapped the house last night, so got the coverage we needed, and then I added this crossbar last night to make sure that this doesn't move this way anymore. Now it's fixed. Um, it wiggles a bit, which is kind of expected because it's top heavy. So I might add one more support bar from here to the ground, just to try to keep it from wiggling. Um, but other than that, it's done. And I set out to make something that was a little more long-term, a little more simple. I don't know if this is simple, <laughs> but hopefully it's a better long-term solution. And uh, my previous box wasn't completely enclosed, so that part's an improvement. And I'm sure there's a better way of doing this setup. Um, the aluminum ended up working because then I could drill where I wanted it to and then do the, the small adjustments until I got it, the projector exactly where I wanted it. Um, so it's not the prettiest thing, but in the end, it's going to work. And now the house is mapped again, and I'm looking forward to trying some shows soon. <laughs>